Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a progress monitor graph for multiple tasks in Excel. So the graph will look like something like this. So what you can see here, we have here a multiple task and uh, then you have the progress in the form of uh, the bar. So here it shows the start date, here it shows the end date and the blue color shows the task that has been completed and uh, the gray glitch shows the task that still needs to be completed. Okay, so we are in Excel now and uh, this is the original graph which I have uh, just drawn. So I'm gonna copy this and uh, I will paste it here and we'll draw this graph again from the scratch so I can show you how did I draw that uh, step by step. So I will remove um, these values. You have the various columns. So the first column is about the targets. Uh, then what you need is the start date. Uh, of the project of the target and then uh, you need the end date of that target and in next column you need duration and that would be in uh, days and the next column you need uh, the work has, that has been completed and the next column you need percentage of the work that has been completed and in next and final column you need uh, the task remaining okay so let's start with the um, duration because you already know uh, what's the start date what's going to be the end date click on equal to then click on end date take away start date enter and it'll give you the number and that number is in days so in this case the task will complete in 44 days similarly you have to do for the others but if you want to simplify then just uh, drag this little corner and pull it down and it will do the rest of the job for you. Okay, so the next column is uh, uh, the task completed. Let's say I remove this. Uh, so you have to you have to decide how much uh, work you already have done. So let's say in the first case, after the 44 days of work, you have completed, let's say, um, 38 days of work. And in the second case, let's say you have completed uh, 40 days of work. Okay, so the next column is percentage completed. Type equal to the work that has been completed divided by total duration and times 100 and enter and that will give you the percentage. So in this case, first case, 86% uh, of work has been completed. Similarly, you can do for the rest. So the easy way is just pull this down and you will get the rest of the values. And the final column is uh, remaining how much work yeah, it still needs to be done. The total duration, take away the work that has been completed, enter, and that gives the remaining work. So in the first case, out of uh, 44 days of work, 38 days was completed, and six days still needs to be completed. And pull it down, and you get the rest of the values. Okay, now we have all the inventories that we need to draw the graph. So let's see how to draw the graph now. So click anywhere outside this table, and then click on insert then uh, go in the 3d stack bar graph you can uh, make it slightly bigger so right click then select data click on add click on start date then go to the series value and in the values use choose all these values and then click on ok then click on add again and this time click on percent completed for the series values we select all these values then click OK and finally click on add remaining and remaining values and click on OK and then click on edit and choose target 1 to target 5 and click OK OK again so click on it and I will select all these uh, blue graphs uh, blue bars then right click format data series fill no fill the second thing you see here the uh, targets are in the reverse order double click then click on the categories in reverse order and that's it uh, to change the color select it click it and I will select all of them then right click format data series fill and here's the current color so I will change it let's say I want to change it to blue well, it's up to you whatever you want to do we have a graph, uh, but the one pr problem is it's not starting from the uh, beginning. So our very first date was the 2nd of October. So copy this and paste here. Then uh, 
while it's selected go here and click on number so that will actually change our uh, date into number format because Excel can understand only in the number format so we'll copy this and then you go on this date and double click and here you can see the minimum value so you have to tell the Excel that the minimum value should be uh, our very first start date so go on the minimum remove this and instead paste this value which is actually represents 2nd of October and then click enter and uh, job done and you click here click on this plus sign you can give it uh, a chart title and then you can type the name and similarly you can change the font colors and size okay and then if you want you can uh, add in um, a table data table so click on the data table uh, no legend you can have all these values in the table format and click on here and you can change the font size right okay so you have your graph ready uh, another thing you can do just to make it look beautiful is uh, you can just um, add an arrow click insert shape and you can choose a different color for that so that will show the direction of the progress from start date to finish date and then uh, if you want you can add um, a finish line flag so you can uh, google it and you can find a finish line flag or something like that so the finish line and similarly if you want you can put something for the start date okay so uh, that completes your chart so here you have everything so one final thing you have to do if you want you can uh, put the uh, percentage of the progress here so again click on the chart and this plus sign and then can go on the data labels uh, uh, so you can see the 86 percent, 6 percent completed, non-completed, and then you also have the start date. We don't need the start date, so we'll do select this and delete this, and we can make it slightly bigger. Click here, go to the end, and then type percentage. And simply you can do it for all of this. okay so your graph is now complete so you can easily see that we have um, uh, different targets here and for each target we have a progress bar which shows uh, the work that has been completed person in, uh, in terms of percentage uh, but as I told you you can also uh, choose uh, in terms of number of days if you want so you can see uh, each task um, in terms of percentage like in this case 86 percent has been completed six percent has still to be done so it's very easy if anybody look at this it's very easy to understand uh, what we're trying to see or what this graph is actually uh, telling us so uh, the next time uh, you want to update this uh, let's say in a week time you make some more progress and you want to update it and that's very simple so let's say for the first target uh, in, in a week time you have completed instead of 38 days you have completed 42 days of work so change it to 42 and then click enter and that will do uh, the rest of the job you don't have to do anything else so just change this uh, number and that will automatically change your progress uh, uh, work remaining uh, and even update the table and everything okay so to print it use the snipping tool click on start and then type snip you will have the stripping tool click on that then click on new and then uh, select this chart area and once you release it it will copy it and then click on copy and then uh, paste it anywhere maybe on the Excel or um, a word anywhere you want so just uh, paste it here okay and then print it that will be very easy okay so uh, that's all um, about this progress uh, monitor graph 
So I hope that gives you some idea how you can uh, uh, draw a progress monitor graph very easily in Excel. So if you have uh, any questions or any comments, uh, please uh, write them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you very much.